Hello peaches, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out an amazing community created stuff pack that is going to add 60 new living room items to your Sims 4 game in the same style as the Max's items. I was feeling very grown up last night and was replying to my emails, pretending to be an adult, and I got an email from the lovely Harry here. Now you may already know Harry's CC work. This pack here, the Jardin Garden Pack, I saw this floating around on Twitter a bunch. I've actually gone ahead and given it a quick demo, which I'll show you guys when we get in game as well. But it's basically Basically, a collaboration, this original one between Felix Andre Sims and Harry CC. And as you can see, the stuff is just really high quality. It looks very much like it will just fit in your game and match all of the existing Sims content. I obviously adore Alpha CC, but I do really like Maxis Match when it comes to stuff for build. Also, some clothes as well. But for build stuff, I still use Alpha, but I do like Maxis Match as well just because the game then looks a little bit more. I don't know, the flow is better, things look a little bit more natural. When Harry got in touch and asked if I wanted to check out the new living room, Rum. No, I did not just get sucked in because the name has rum in it and that was definitely my first drink. I knew that the quality of everything was going to be really good and I was really impressed with the number of items. 60 new living room items. Again, it is a collaboration between Felix Andre Sims and Harry CC. And as you guys can see from this wonderful slideshow, there is a bunch of new items here. So I thought we would go ahead and check them out. So I'm going to leave a link to both of these packs in the description below if you guys want to check it out. They are currently on Patreon early access, which means if you're subscribed to the Patreon creator. You can download these now. However, as with all Sims CC, it does eventually become free with public release. So this pack will be free from the 3rd of March. So pop that in your diaries if you like what I'm about to show you guys. And a big thank you to Harry for sending this over to me. I was kind of itching to do something build related this week. So this kind of fit in that box really nicely. So without further ado, we're going to be checking out all of these items in game. I'm going to be trying to build a beautiful living room with them. And also I'm going to be showing you guys the Jardin Garden stuff as well, which I've already built. Let's get in there and let's give it a go. And don't forget, if you guys enjoy this video, please consider giving it a little bit of a like. I really appreciate your support. If you want to comment and let me know what you think of the stuff below, I would also love that as well. And if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, you can check out more videos like this. I also have a whole sim series based on the Not So Berry Challenge currently going on at the moment and also the Paranormal Park. It's a lot of fun. I recommend you guys check them out. Okay, so I'm going to be working on this house in Brittleton Bay, the weird skinny one. I've already um, pimped it up a little bit because it is a bit of a sad house. So I've just done a little bit of a, a few changes around it just to make, give it a bit more life. And as promised, the first thing we're going to be doing is checking out that guard Jardin, Jardin, which I think is a play of the French word, Jardin set, which was the garden set that was released last year by the same wonderful creator. Now this set has so much stuff in it. There's 51 items. We're going to be focusing on the living room today, but I wanted to showcase to you guys the kind of quality that these creators are working on for these sets. Honestly, it is absolutely wild. I'm always more than happy to sing the praises of amazing CQC creators. You guys know how much I love a bunch of my CC hairs like my Anto has. And honestly, I'm always just blown away by the beautiful stuff that people can create for this game and have it look like so good, like literally so good. So this was the Jardine set. Obviously these in particular, I'm just love. Candles and herbs, I just think are absolutely wonderful. I would decorate my own house with them and I, I actually have. So yeah, there's a cute fire pit. There was this table with succulents in it literally chef's kiss. And these like sofas, there was a bunch of different combos. So you can get like, you can keep making different kind of looking ones for each time you use the set. Also a succulent chair, a succulent cement chair, love. Okay, but we're not here to focus on that. I just wanted to show you, oh, this this also, these bits here, also part of the same pack. We're not here to focus on that today. I just figured if we're gonna be doing a living room, going out into a garden, I would both create it so I can show you guys it, but also continue the vibes. So here is the living room that we're gonna be using to create this that today. I've deleted all the furniture. It has that weird wartime blue wallpaper. We'll make everything look a lot nicer. But here is the jar. I've just searched jar, jard for jardine. There is all the stuff you got with that pack. Let's go ahead and check out living room. So again, there is just so much stuff. Like I feel like doing one of those like really professional, you know, the videos where they just like literally put everything out like this. Like I never have the energy for this. I'd rather just put it in a room than do this. But there's just so much of it that I kind of almost feel tempted to do it. Okay. I generally feel like I have a achieved peak 
Sims YouTuber energy right now. I've never done this before, but there we go. I laid out all the items. All the items so you can see just how much stuff is in this pack. It's a lot. There is a bunch of stuff in there. I have to delete them all. Goodbye. And obviously, they all come in a bunch of color schemes as well. So, oh my gosh, look at this. Like, drink straight. Sorry. Let's get to this. I actually feel like I may have missed out this entire row. Okay, I'm not I'm not peak Sims YouTuber yet. There's still time for me to mature. So, the two kind of main vibes that I'm getting are these vibes. Like, bouncy chair with the little, like, strappy things at the side there. And then slightly more, like, structured vibes as well. However, I literally can't even begin to get into it while the walls are this ugly ass color. So I'll probably paint them based on what we end up designing the house like, but I just, I need a clean base. They're just too ugly. I'm sorry. There's also this like funky, like marble chair as well. I don't know how to make that work with everything else, but I will give it a go. Okay. Just the sheer amount of plants has made me incredibly happy. Okay. So I want to fit in the fireplace that comes with this, but because I added a door there, it ain't going to be easy. And you can't really put a fireplace on the staircase. That's not how fireplaces work, but a fireplace is also quite like a big part of a park. So I want to try and fit it in. So it's going to be a little bit strange placed, like I said, because I added these doors. I mean, what I could do is do a little switcheroo. They are actually even doors, that's a window. Wow, Claire. Okay, it still makes sense. We're all good. So, added a door, which means I can now, like, make the whole house work around a fireplace, which I think is a really nice feature. Also, if I want to add that funky marble chair, it helps to have marble in the room, right? And oh my gosh, I think I've just realized something mind-blowing. I think this, it's a frame TV. No freaking way. That is a TV designed to look like a piece of artwork. That's not a frame around the outside. That's the TV bevel. No freaking way. So, you just frame it like artwork, and then it will actually function as a TV. That is just actually mind-blowing. Okay, I love that. We're going for that. There's actually a version with an even bigger like frame bevel as well, but I kind of like the minimal one. I'm like working out which chair to go for. This one's very funky with like the little strappy bits at the side, but it's not my personal taste. I don't feel like it looks comfy and I like furniture that looks comfy. So I'm actually going to go for the more classic vibes here and I love the like detail of the little black around the edges. And I'm trying really hard, really hard gangalang not to just go grey everywhere because you know how much I love grey furniture. Okay, I'm trying my hardest not to do that. Also, the fact that this room gets no light is just such a big sag that I'm going to add a window here. And I'm thinking living room area, entry. I like a console to like define the entryway, but I don't know if things are a little bit cozy doing that. I mean, I could put the console here. There's a double stairway, so you could get away with it. And look, clutter, pretty clutter in sim language. Okay. Oh, a remote control, what? Oh my gosh, I love that. How am I getting this excited over it? I call it a turner over. I know it's called remote control there, but I call it a turner over. I realized by saying that I'm literally describing what it is, but I don't know. I've just always called it that. And I like the idea of just having books that you never read, just like on your console. So people are like, oh yes, look, the art digest. And they can pretend they read it as well, even though they definitely don't. Nobody reads the books on the console. Not the console, the coffee table. Coffee table books that no one ever reads, but they look pretty. And oh my gosh, look at this on your console as you come in, a little dish for your keys. And oh my gosh, look, you can put different stuff in it. Wood keys or like, is that your phone? Pens and pencils if you want to add it to the desk as well. Oh my gosh, I love that. More magazines. Oh gosh, I love this stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, they have the phone and keys as like a separate item. Am I just really easily impressed? I think I am. But like, if I'm making like a house, like simple things that you can imagine in a real house in Sims is what makes me happy. That's what makes it look more homey. I like that one and I like that one. I think I'm going to go for this one though, a bit of detail. Okay, I want like a, oh, but the big shelfies. Where am I going to fit these guys? I really wanted to make use of them. Danish shelves. That just has such strong Ikea energy. But I also really wanted to do a desky area too. Maybe they can be as one. And there's end tables that I've not even considered. How can I fit in Danish shelves and everything? Oh, I've not even put you in yet either. You don't quite fit, but you might just work. It kind of looks like you've been specifically um, carpentered around the window. Carpentered, carp, carp, carpentated. Oh my gosh, what is the right word? It looks like it's it was made for it, you know? Plus then I can put more stuff in here. Look, that looks like it's leaning against the window frame. Oh, I have so many shelves to fill with stuff. This is how it starts to. It's like, oh, Claire, let's do like a professional, sensible video. Like, why don't you kind of review this a little bit? And instead, it just ends up me getting really overexcited. Every time. You could set your watch to me at this point. Oh, the fact that the book's stuck. I think this is the Sims thing and all objects do it, but doesn't mean I can't get really excited about it. If the window wasn't there, I would definitely put a big artsy print there. Could I do it on here instead of this? Probably could. You float that for a sec. It's kind of big. Maybe go a bit smaller with it. <gasps> yes, chef's kiss. A bit smaller. Does mean I need to find a new home for my little open book thing, but we'll figure something out. <gasps> there we go. 
That was quick. Oh, fuck. It's like a little kid's book. Little Sims running. Oh my gosh. They must have like staged these photos and made that room and everything. And I'm sad I only got to use one of these, but like the only way to get around it would be to switch this out. I could switch this out to a single. It's kind of hemmed in, but it's all kind of cozy. So, you know, kind of works. So like they frame the door. I think that's kind of a vibe. And oh my gosh, there's a few chairs for this, but it's got to be for me this one. Like, oh, this is like a rocky chair. <gasps> oh. Okay, I'm gonna swap out one of these for this. Oh my gosh, love that. There. Oh, love it. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. So I'm gonna go for this chunky boy over here instead in this color. Nice. Now it doesn't come with a PC or anything. Also, I can't see unless I'm just... Oh, I was gonna say I can't see any lights. But then I realized we actually have 10 million candles, which is very exciting. And I've not placed any of them yet. So let's get our candle on. The candles have like a little... It's almost like a little housey shape, like a little... I think I've seen candles like this in Ikea. Like I said, this is like a super Ikea-inspired park. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna shift you out for a sec. And have you ever seen when people kind of do the, like, candles in the fireplace thing? If they're not using a real fireplace. I know this is a real fireplace, but I think it's kind of cute. So we've got some little candles in the fireplace. Some more pictures. I'm trying to use up every single piece of CC. Every single one. And we still need to do the flooring and stuff. Ooh. Now, it didn't come with any, so you'll have to use what comes with the game. But there is still a lot of artwork I haven't yet used, including, like, some standing artwork. Now, I'm kind of running out of space to put standing artwork. So I think I'm going to shrink mine down and maybe use it, like, behind this desk. There is also, like, this really trendy dipped frame. I think I might create, like, a little wall art display here. Oh, look at that. That's cool, right? Some famous pictures, but with the dipped frame. In fact, I think we might do a few of these. We'll kind of make it look like it's, like, a collection of them. Oh! <gasps> And there's a mirror. I wish this was horizontal, personally, because I don't feel like the game has enough big, borderless, like, horizontal mirrors. There's a lot of vertical mirrors in this game. Not a lot of horizontal ones. If I wasn't, though, going to put the TV above the wall, I would have put this. Like, 100%, I would have put this. I'm now tempted to get rid of that window and have a mirror there instead. The room really needs the light. I mean, it's crying out for the light. Oh, and I put that cute picture frame collection there instead of a mirror. Would a mirror have looked better? Mirror just adds so much depth to a room. Ah! What about if I moved these little fellas over here? Because it's like a cool textured mirror as well. Look, it's got like a smoky effect, which I just love. That's so clever. Oh my gosh, I've just found something else. Oh, I found so much more artwork. Oh, look at this 3D leaning artwork. That would look... Oh, I don't have room for it. But I was thinking of putting this here instead. No, I think I liked it more before. I like that whole wall of stuff. I think it looks really good. So, okay. So I had a big shift, deleted that chair, moved that one to here. I don't know if it's just me, but I have to have a full length mirror next to the door so I can check it before I leave the house. Like it really vexes me when I don't have that. So I've put a full length mirror there. I'm going to use the mat, shrink it to put it by the door, put it in the other color that I liked. I'm still only using stuff from this pack. I was tempted at one point to, you know, grab some stuff from the Jardin as well, but no, I want to just stick to this pack. Now, big Sag, from what I can see, this pack has no window coverings and I feel like this room is absolutely crying out for them as well because it's got such big windows so I can't add any of those let's go ahead and add some nice flooring prawling wood floors yeah cozy very cozy and then on the walls like I said I'm trying to be less boring nowadays I'm trying out new stuffs we got orangey vibes honestly I do love a bit of plum I don't know why it gets rid of that book look watch this Three items moved. What are you doing? Why are you taking my books? Why are you a book stealer? And the other big sag is it doesn't come with any of its own lighting other than the candles. So I don't want to use the little saucer light. I want to go for something a little bit more special. I am going to have to go for one of the either in-game lights or a CC light. I kind of like these lights. It sort of goes with the room as well. And I took this again, shrunk it and put it here and imagined like shoe cupboard. Shoe cupboard to put your shoes on, check it out in front of the mirror. I know it's no longer a mirror that goes all the way to the ground, but shh. I actually tried as well changing the color of all of the units like this lighter like gray green color which I actually th also think looks like really nice like that lighter vibes looks nice but I'm going for like dark and moody so I just thought I'd show you guys real quick and okay so the curtains are from movie stuff and then the lights are from the fitness park oh and these are from Strangerville just because I feel like 
If it have had some matching curtains and some matching lights, it would have been even more incredible. I would have really loved it if it had those things. It doesn't, unfortunately, which is big sag. And also pillows. Pillows would have been really cool. However, I still really, really like this park. So just to give you guys the tour so you can see it all in full. Those trees are from the garden. Here is how I managed to make the... Well, one minute. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Okay, so I've placed ceiling tiles. It's going to look a little bit glitchy. One thing that you guys know really bothers me about this game is the fact that you can't paint ceilings. I hate like the really extreme bright ceilings, especially when you use a shader. So this is going to look a little bit wonky, but more the vibes I try to get from the room. So you can see there's a, <laughs> there's a little bit of stuff going on there, but just ignore that because as you can see, it just makes the whole place look way more vibey. So here is my living room, living room. Of course, as you come in, you take your little shoes off, pop them there. And also you've got your little console here where you'd chuck your keys and play through the window. You're getting robbed. Little mats to dust your little shoes off on. And then into your beautiful, very candly living room. Here is how it's looking. All very beautiful. I love that smoky mirror. I need that smoky mirror in my life so badly. Oh, oh, geez, I forgot the desk. Sorry, we popped her outside while we were putting on the ceiling because she kept getting stuck to it. But now we can uh, pop her back in. There you go. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. I thought it looked a bit empty. Here is your living room, living room. How did I just forget about a whole desk? With your actual little desky area, it goes through to the ugly kitchen. However, we're not here for the kitchen we're here for this room right here so i've tried to clutter up as much as possible because one of the points of this pack is clutter and i love clutter so we have just kind of gone to town with the clutter also this is a picture but it's actually a tv whole i love that that is obviously based on the real life samsung i believe that does that so i think that looks really cool and if you go through this door you have to kind of cuff through the curtain there but into the nice jardine pack as well and i just think it's all really vibey and those windows are gonna make it also look really nice in this light on an evening. See, I know the windows were pain because of the curtains and like the pictures, but they are worth it for like pretty evening light and vibes. I want to see how cozy it looks at nighttime as well. Oh, it looks brighter than the sun. Brighter than the sun at nighttime. I think that's because I put so many lights in here. I guess you can see it a little bit more in live mode. Let's see it on live mode. See, there we go. Cozy energy. Oh, Rude. Cozy energy. I knew this room had it. Nice little cozy vibes. And that actually is a functional bookcase. So my man here using his little bookcase, these little candles everywhere. He's like, this is a vibe. Well done, Claire. Thank you, random sim that I used to help me build. And let me know what you think of this pack. And also my attempts to try and get as much of this pack as we can in one room. Let me know what you guys think. And as I said, I will be leaving links to everything in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. This will all be free next month so if you do like anything here you can also have it in your own game starting from uh next month oh and he's gonna show us the tv there we go a function he's like yes a functional tv that looks like a picture as well and thank you guys so much for watching this video if you want me to see me check out or maybe go on a search for some more cc for you guys and then decorate a room show you it all let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching bye